opportunity to, to wax lyrical about your players' performance tonight? Well, yes, I would. I think it's uh, one of the greatest nights in the club's recent history. Um, very poignant on a 125th anniversary. One, to play Barcelona in such a prestigious game and then to, to win the game under huge difficulties um, with the squad decimated with injuries and illness. The players are heroes, the heroes to me. Um, I can't speak highly enough of their performances tonight. And they will go down in the history books of the club as um, the team that beat probably the best team in the world. You know, obviously the players will take a, a massive amount of credit and rightly so, but can you, can you afford yourself a part in the back for, for tactically get, getting things spot on this evening? I mean, you, everyone goes on about tactics and it's about players. And um, we set the team out. We took a bit of a gamble not to go 4 5 1 with. The players missing. It was. We were thinking should we flood midfield, but we felt that we didn't have enough pace in, in wide areas to counter attack as well as we can. So. We put Miku, just off Samaras, and um, we felt that Sami needed support at times, and um, Miku did it perfectly. He also did his job defensively, exceptionally well, as all the team did. So. You can talk about tactics till you're blue in the face, as far as I'm concerned. Football's about the players, and um, they have covered themselves in glory tonight. Second, second one. Still second in the group, Neil. Are you looking at an okay stage as they're looking at possibility? Well, we've got a chance. <coughs> That's all it's given us a, a greater chance than maybe we expected, you know, before the game. We still have two very difficult games. The, the problem the players and myself will have to deal with now is that the expectation level um, will increase. This is still a lot of work to do in the group, but um, we're giving ourselves a fantastic platform. Um, but it's a, you know, that's for the future. I mean, I want the players to enjoy the moment um, and take it all in. And I have to commend our supporters tonight who, this is what Celtic is about. It, it makes the club so special. It's one of the greatest arenas in European football, and um, you saw all that tonight. You were uh, an 18 year old boy ever managed to top that in his career. So you what and really scored it. Can it prove to be the winning goal? I hope so. You know, it's, it's a phenomenal thing he's done so early in his career. Uh, I said before the game, I had no hesitation in playing him, but we just felt that um, his lack of experience would have been a bit too much to put him in the starting lineup, but he's come on. He did everything we asked him to do. He scored a brilliant goal, and I felt we should have had a sending off and a penalty. And he's got the other side of Mascherano. And the kid is learning, and again, he's ruled himself in the history books of the club. But he's 11 games into his career, so I hope he has a fruitful career. But it'll take some top and to do what he's done tonight. Neil, it's uh, commendably modest of you to say that tactics don't count here, but. The, the, the truth is, you know, that's twice now with Barcelona. The tactics have been spot on. You, you lost a, a last minute goal in the new camp, but you proved tonight that that's no fluke. That, that must come down to meticulous preparation and, and tactics. Well, we do prepare the team as best we can. <coughs> we, did feel, we did feel there was an area that were vulnerable from corners where uh, Alba Zona at the back post and. We wanted to affect that area. They basically leave sort of half the box empty. And we felt, you know, a Wanyama or a, a Lustig could affect that. But it, again, the delivery is so important. And um, Charlie Mulgrew has got, he's one of the best dead ball takers in, in football, certainly in British football anyway. And it's, it's up to him to get the delivery right, and it's up to Victor to go and attack the ball and get the header right. So. Yes, well, we can give them instructions and whether we can prepare them as best we can. It, it's down to the players to go and do it, and then um, let it happen tonight. Where does it rank for you, Neil, in terms of what you've achieved as a player and as a manager? Oh, this is up there with anything I've ever done in my life. Um, playing wise, you know, playing in a team that reached the FA Cup final was pretty special, and the 10 years I had under Martin O'Neill was. You know, we had great times, and great times on the Gordon making the last 16 here, and beating Man United as a player. But uh, as a manager, it's I don't know if we'll top that. 
you know. Um, I hope I do. I hope I can progress. Still young, still learning, but uh, it's straight up there with anything I've achieved, not just in my football career, but in my life. <coughs> Good night, Mr. Lennon. Um, what do you think you changed uh, regarding the the game in in the new camp? Um, has it has been defensive? Um, the, the defensive system has has it been the key, not conceding too many chances to Barcelona. Well, you know, if you look back on tonight, Barcelona had, had good chances, and once again, my goalkeeper was fantastic when they needed him to be. He made some great saves, and to beat Barcelona, you need your goalkeeper to play well, and obviously the men in front of them to be disciplined and and concentrated because they're working so hard and then um, when they scored when we scored first then we knew the storm the storm was coming and it came and you need some luck you know i think barcelona hit the maybe hit the post and hit the crossbar so they can you know feel very unlucky that they didn't get something out of the game but as far as we're concerned you know we've just played the best team in the world and and the difference in the teams is that um, Tito can bring on David Villa and, and Fabregas and I'm bringing on a 18 year old kid who cost 50,000 pounds from a team called Airtree. <laughs> Thanks, uh, congratulations. Um, after a sort of difficult week and few months for Scottish football, do you think this has helped to restore some of the pride and reputation for Scottish football around the world? And is yeah, sort of film? I hope so. You know, it's very important. This is a, a great footballing country um, with great history, uh, whether it be clubways or <laughs> nationally, it has produced some of the greatest players who play the game. It's in a bit of a lull, but um, you know we've got a great club here. I mean, when we came into this competition going into the season, what we wanted to do was gain respect, you know, just for the players. For the club itself, which is very important because it has a great reputation in Europe and obviously for the game here. And um, I hope it's given the game a huge boost. <laughs>